So guys, I'm going to fit the um, stabiliser to my bike, the throttle stabiliser. The first thing we do is take off the bar end. Right, so bar ends off with a nut. So there's three parts for the uh, stabiliser. You have the main part, which is there. You have a little silver washer. And then you've got two other bits for it. So to start off with, we put this bit on first. It's got a little lip, and the little lip sits just inside the rubber mount. Just like that. So that's easy enough. What I've done is I've put a little bit of oil on this part, and this washer here. And then that will sit like that. And then on top, I'll have a silver washer in there. So what I do is I just put the silver washer in this part. Place this big washer onto there and the main part of the stabiliser on there. Now what I'll do is I'll fit the bolt into the end. Get the Allen key and tighten it up. Hopefully it's long enough. which it is. Now I'll give it a couple of turns. Right. So what I'll do is now I'll tighten that up. I won't over tighten it up at the moment. Just nip it up. So how this works is when you grab your hand, you don't just grab your hand on the main throttle. You grab the stabiliser bit and pull it back. As you can see, I've turned the stabiliser and that's now turned the throttle back. To take it off, I'll just move it back again. So I'll do it by this hand so you can see. So I'll put my hand onto a stabiliser, pull it back, which is pull the throttle back, and then take it off again. Simple as that. One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to get confused between the stabiliser and cruise control. With cruise control you can if you're going uphill or going downhill it will stay at the, it will change the speed. On the stabiliser it will stay at the same speed. So just be aware of that. So what I've done now is I've turned it off and just make sure it's really tight. Just give it a nip up. That's it. What we've also got, if you come and have a look this way, apart from my cat, we have a little grub screw just here. Right. So what that grub screw does is for example, say you've turned it on and you feel it slipping backwards you just tighten the grub screw up even more. So I'll give you another shot from here. So we'll turn the stabiliser back. That's holding the fossil into place. And then we'll just turn it off again, which will take that off. 
can also just use this as normal 